Greetings, welcome back to Fable 3. And now let's take Walter of, out of the desert to some place safe. Come on, come on, don't. Do not let go of my hand. Okay? It's gonna be alright. You keep holding his hands instead of thinking to be careful. I hate the way it works. All right. Okay. okay. Okay, now there are some stairs down. Of course I'm gonna leave you. You're gonna come with me. I don't care. There, die on me. Dougie, come over here. Dougie? Well, actually it might be a better idea for him to stay with Walter in case something came up to them. Look at all those those are sand furies, what are you doing here? Is fine, thank you. Oh, dear devotees, you hold in your hands a slice of history, an unadulterated and adulterated account of one of the longest. 
fullest and most scandalous lives ever lived. I. For the intellectually challenged amongst you, and I can say with some certitude that such a definition includes most of you, my dear, dear readers, I present here a brief, abridged extract from one of my least demanding chapters. I do hope you will keep up. Who knows? Perhaps your dim little minds will be encouraged to consume the entire volume. Not that I care a jot. I have your money already. And should you have shoplifted a copy, or far worse, borrowed one from those appalling institutions known as libraries, be warned that I will find you and perform many of the acts described in Chapter 12 upon your person. Now, Chapter 17. The senile old hag was as good as her word, and I found myself magically transported to the land of Samarkand, thousands of miles from the bloody spire. There, my good fortune ended, however, as I soon found that insufferable bore Garth materializing beside me. This so-called scholar turned out to have little to teach me about his homeland little of interest, at least. I had come seeking hot nights, exotic substances, and uninhibited people, and found an excess of the first, a miserly amount of the second, and a definite shortage of the third. Still, my stay was not without its highlights. One particular evening springs to mind, my last one. I followed my humorless, pedantic companion into what I can only describe as the worst tavern ever to deserve such a moniker. Its pitiful cordials and feeble spirits did nothing to improve my mood, and the air was so thick with stodgy conversation, one grew constipated merely by listening. It was then that I had the brilliant notion that would simultaneously catapult me out of that humdrum country and put an end to Garth's miserable existence, as well as diverting me for several minutes. I stood up in front of the sober crowd and... And, well, my darlings, there the extract ends. You will have to read the rest of the book to find out what happened. Cliffhangers are such a cheap authorial trick, I know, but one that is not beyond me, as you shall see when you reach the end of chapters 2, 6, 7, and 22. Now, run ahead, you little scamps. Plunge your clammy, thirsty fingers into the pages before you. I hope you enjoy reading their contents as much as I enjoyed living them. Mm. This is his true attitude towards Garth. What? Where? Okay. You know how much I hate doing that. Gives me no idea whatsoever how far it means. Okay, so never mind, we're not gonna follow his instruction towards his, some treasure that he supposedly found. I don't even know whether you can explore all this place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bring it on. Okay. You abandoned your friend to die. He's calling for while the children spread out his heart to the sky. This world is ours. Every light, every last breath, from every last mouth. 
Leave him alone. Don't worry. What you are made of then? Hmm? Yeah, nothing. You are made of nothing. No. I will do anything I can to offend you. Are you blind? Are you blind yet? <laughs> There's nothing left. You're gone. All gone. Still alive. The other can't be far away. Taking a nap in the sun. Typical royalty. You had me worried there for a while. Walter! Don't worry, we'll find him. You just sit tight, my friend. Young one will be fine. He is strong. We need to tend to the older one at once. Hang in there, Walter. of Aurora, I have much to tell you. Walter, how is he? He is fortunate to be alive, but we have seen his condition before. We may be able to help him. Is there another of my friends here? I thought I saw in the desert. A devilishly handsome soldier by the name of Ben Finn? Not dead yet, my friend. Please, come with me. Don't worry, it's a, it's a tough old night. He'll pull through. It's so good to see you. When I was fished out of the local port and Walter and you weren't there, 
and I thought it was all over. Then I realized I was being an ass, and I worked my charms to get a search party out for you. Not that Kaelin here needed much persuading. We are accustomed to misfortune. Now it is time you saw our city. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please. Walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we may talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on Walter. Okay. Let's look around. Though... We'll do really start the opposite side of where the NPCs want me to go. <laughs> no lights. What? They have the boy. Oh. Then they came to my house. The walls trembled, the floor shook. I was certain this was to be my last day. And surely it would have been had dawn not begun to break. We are not ready for its return. We will never be ready. We will never be safe. I am trying to forget the night the darkness first came. We were a different people then. We each walked to our homes as daylight faded. From the port where we carried that day's bounty from the sea. From the shops where we had bought and sold food and clothes and jewelry. From the tavern where we had celebrated friendships and small triumphs. Or drank away small failures. From the temple where we had tended to the city's soul. Yes, we were a different people then, and we can never forget. I hear its voice still calling me. The crawler and the darkness it brings took my parents, my two brothers, and their wives. Yet it never takes me. It delights in taunting me with their memory. It calls me a coward, but no more. I have decided to go into the desert at next year. I will slay the crawler or be at one with my family again. You can guess what happened to him. Since they're in that 
crawlers is still out there. Don't think she really prepared to drop red that and that as well we've been there. survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways, wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. My wife and my daughter, you were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Reina and Bale, you are in my thoughts always. I will be with you again soon. You are in a better place now, my love. For no place can be as troubled as our city has become. I know you are watching over me. I feel your presence by our bed when I sleep, and I hear your voice in my dreams. Stay with me, always. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's some still left to find out, to listen to. Sick. You've got to be kidding me, I can't even shoot him. You know what I like most about people? They die. You're a disgrace. If it were up to me, no one would ever get sick. They just die, starting with you. Remember whether there's something out here or not. There's definitely something. Oh, flower. Okay. Maybe that would no. Maybe that will that that will uh, maybe flowers were in the cave where we've been, but we were in Albion, the cave, not in the Aurora. Hmm. Or maybe there was a flower in the desert. Is that? Oh, it doesn't the flower. Okay. Hmm, so I think we're done with mementos. Let's go back, Kalin. Before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan, the King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. 
He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise that he would return with an army and save us from the crawler. We never saw him again. Well, that sounds like him. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest, of your revolution. There are not many warriors left among us, but we have ships, and we are willing to fight beside you. Not because your brother wronged us, nor because we thirst for revenge, but because we want protection. We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise we must make. Help us to rebuild Aurora and allow it to become a true part of your kingdom. Not a colony, not a thing to be used, but a place with a voice in your court. Will you make this promise? Yes, I will. If you only allow me to open the chest. <laughs> Thank you. Very sharp pair of scissors. really don't need much to give me all your soldiers, do you? No wonder Logan bailed from a war. You have survived a terrible ordeal. But you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle. I think it is our last magic. No, this is this is the place, but okay, I'm definitely gonna take this before I upgrade my magic. Because we need that to upgrade one of our weapons, if I remember correctly. This is our last magic upgrade. It would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. <coughs> Walter? Oh, Paul, to you all. You're not burying me just yet. See? I told you. Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you, Walter. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the king Albion needs. So come on, it's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. Not yet. Do I have to? You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first. Oh, I have to go. Okay. No, I didn't think it's gonna work. So ah, so far from the ship. Okay, so we're going on a war. <laughs> Apparently, and I didn't change my spells. All right, I've got it. 
I take a small group of soldiers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future king to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. I see you've really matured on your travels. If you look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke and the fire and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. <laughs> Less chance of getting lost. Then we're agreed. Are you sure you're up to this, Walter? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired, but the day hasn't come yet when I can't charge into a good old-fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin! Okay. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, where's my spell? Is this the spell? Blade spell, yeah. Blade plus shock. I think it's fair. Yeah, I thought so as well. No, 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 no. Oh, this. This. Yes? No, 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 I don't want to talk to you. I want to take off my sword. Yes, we need to kill 100 enemies with an unweaved. Unweaved. What makes this unweaved? I mean, base blades? Excellent choice of God. I have no idea. If you want to inflict the greatest possible damage in melee combat, you want a hammer. The bigger, the better. God damn it! <laughs> okay, so we need, need to eat more. We've already lost one ship. Kalins could be there. Come on. Right. It's time you led from the front. We'll follow every step of the way. Ready? Let's go. When did I loot that? <laughs> okay, I remember. Uh, yeah, I remember now. At the beginning. Oh, those guys were mine. Sorry. Yeah, you're gonna see me casting awful lots of spells. Just die already! Thank you. No mercy. This is the moment you've been waiting for, isn't it? Well, waiting's over. Can I hit him? Oh, I can. Just die! Oh, the swords are exploding inside them. Okay, never noticed that. What the hell was that? I'm doing my own thing right now, okay? Come on. Hello! <laughs> if all I can make it work. Oh, still alive. Oh 
Blanc, vamos ver. Really? Me? Traitor? Of course, I have a magic sword. Nah, I might actually work with this. Well, work on the weapon upgrade on Morningwood Cemetery. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Guys, come over here. I need some help. Give me. Please refrain from touching me. Kinda. There's another one. Okay, okay, just give me a second. <laughs> this is how you do magic, okay? The Auroran ship should be able to move in closer now. Ah, die! Ah, you bastard! Whoa! Leave me alone, thank you. That's true. Oh, he's dead. Okay, so before we go any further, I'm gonna end this part here. Stay alive and see you soon.